www.lawmanguitars.com. Hey, you know what? We don't usually get guitars this old. When we do, we are really, really excited. I hope you're excited too. What I've got for you today is a 1929 Oscar Schmidt Stella. Now, the uh, Stellas were made by Oscar Schmidt, oh, between 1929 and 1935. We're calling it a 1935 just because we get to. There's no way to date this one, uh, but we found models from 29 to 35 that were like this. And it's pretty unusual. A lot of them were blonde. Uh, to have the uh, sunburst, I was kind of surprised because there's just not that many like it. The really, really cool thing about this guitar when I got it uh, was it still had the label, and the label is almost perfect in this guitar. So it's Stella, uh, manufactured since 1879 by Oscar Schmidt International Corp of Jersey City, New Jersey, USA. It's got a pretty picture in there of an old guy and an old gal with some instruments. And the label is just absolutely beautiful. You can see it in our ad when uh, when you look at this. Uh, from there, it's original. Uh, actually, it's all original. Uh, the bridge is original. The tailpiece is original. Uh, the uh, end pin is original. The tuners are original. And the only thing not original is the nut. Uh, the nut was completely shot. Uh, it was just, it was gone. There's no way to save it. It was way too low and it just didn't work at all. What we had to do when we got this guitar, believe me, it did not look like this when we got it. It was filthy dirty. I mean, the, the young man who had it said, I was afraid to do anything. I could tell it was old and I just didn't want to do anything to it. So I brought it to you. I said, well, good, I'm glad you did. So we cleaned it up a little bit, got to looking at it. And the neck had, had been completely loose and it was held in by a big giant screw that went down through here into the, uh, the plate inside and we took that off and the neck just came right off. So the good news is we didn't have to steam the neck off. But I took it to my uh, luthier and uh, he just worked it over and did a fantastic job. Reset the neck, uh, proper angle, plays marvelously, especially for guitar this vintage. And I think there were some places where the back had come loose. It really wasn't that bad structurally on the body. And there weren't really any uh, loose uh, uh, the wood pieces inside. <laughs> the braces weren't loose, so that was good. Uh, but it was just really, really dirty. I mean, the tuners are original, and I, I took those completely apart, uh, cleaned every bit of them, and oiled them and put them back together, and they work fantastic. The tailpiece was black. I mean, it, I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed this thing to get it back down to shiny metal again, and it looks wonderful. And then the body itself, uh, we just, you know, I hand rubbed it. Uh, I, I rubbed it out with uh, all my stuff and uh, brought back the beautiful, beautiful finish on it. So for a guitar of this of this age, I mean, it's absolutely in marvelous, marvelous shape. And we all know Oscar Schmidt uh, guitars are, are highly, highly looked for. Uh, all the blues guys, I mean, you know, all the blues guys that we looked at back in the 20s and 30s, I mean, they couldn't afford expensive guitars. They played Stella's. I mean, you can you can just, you know, hear it in the guitar, in the, in the, uh, records we hear back then, it's got that woody, woody sound, and that comes from the birch body of, of Estella. And uh, the guitar itself is, is uh, uh, let me go back to uh, Oscar Schmidt. I mean, that's, that's really important. This is not like a harmony made Stella. I want everyone to understand that. Uh, Oscar Schmidt uh, was in business from 1871 to 1939, and then they sold uh, the, the, the name of Harmony and Sovereign to the Harmony Company, and they started making Stellas. So uh, after 1939 is when uh, uh, Harmony took over. So this is one of the old Oscar Schmidt ones. I want everyone to understand that. Now, structurally, uh, it's, it's a smaller body. It's 13 and a half inches wide, which makes it a parlor size. It's got a 25 and a quarter inch scale neck, which really surprised me. Um, it's uh, joined at the 12th fret. The 25 and a quarter inch from, from here to here. And the nut is really wide. I mean, I can tell when I'm playing it, it's like, holy smokes. Uh, this does not feel like your standard uh, Harmony Stella, which would have probably more like a 1 and, and 11 sixteenths. This is 1 and 7 eighths inch wide. I mean, it's, it's very, very wide. Finger pickers will love this guitar. Uh, and it, it has a little bit of a V in the back. There's, there's, there's some but it's not a real severe V that you might get in some of the other 20s guitars and, and 30s guitars that they just, you know, they're really sharp back there. This, you can feel there's a V in it, uh, but it is very, very uh, smooth. It's, it's, 
It's not C. You can tell it's not a C. And there's some V in there, but it's certainly not anything that, that you're not going to feel comfortable doing. But we completely went through the guitar. We just, we, we did everything that needed to be done. The frets were in good shape. We didn't have to replace any frets, I was happy to say. And uh, it just, I mean, it plays great. <laughs> to get down to that 12th fret being connected there but it plays all the way up and down the neck, down the neck. guitar sounds nice I mean there's nothing like an old guitar I mean you know it, it's you know if, if you haven't been a guitar player very long you probably won't get that I mean you know guitar is a guitar right well if you've been playing for a while you realize that these old guitars and the woods just they're different they just feel different they sound different when you play it you hear different things you, you play differently um, that's why people love these old vintage guitars. I love these old guitars because they're just absolutely awesome. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I, I just, I'm going to make sure the right person gets it. Are you the right person? Get a hold of us. This is an awesome guitar. So what's really cool about this guitar is we're also including this awesome Gibb case. Now check this case out. <laughs> when, I, when I listed the uh, guitar, I immediately had someone contact me and say, can I just buy the case? I go, no, you cannot buy the case. Uh, the Gibb case is probably from the 40s, I would guess, uh, in the brown color. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I've been waiting for the right guitar to show up. Here it is. This is the right guitar for this case. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, all the latches are on it. Uh, the hinges are on it. They're they're metal. They don't have the, the leather latch in here, which is why we date it to an earlier time. It could even be 30s, but I, I'm going to say it's probably 40s. Uh, so when your case broke down for this one, this is probably the case you would buy. But it's uh, it's just a gorgeous case. It's got the uh, sort of brownish, orangish uh, interior in it. It still has the uh, accessory box here with the Gibb label on it, so we don't, do know it's a Gibb case. And these are really, really, really expensive cases. If you tried to buy this case by itself, uh, you know, expect to spend, you know, at least three, four hundred dollars for it. So you're not only getting this unbelievable uh, 1929 Oscar Schmidt Stella, you're getting an awesome Gibb case to go with it. So what a great outfit. Check it and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. We've got a great batch of guitars right now. I'm just really excited about ones we're demoing today and we just got a bunch back at the at the uh, shop that uh, we're ready to send out to you. But hey, while you're here in my YouTube channel, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. We're getting tons of subscribers. We're really happy about that because you seem to like what we're doing and we're happy to do it. Uh, if you hit sub, uh, subscribe, you're going to see Lawman Guitars every month. You get to see five new guitars. You don't have to go look for me. They'll just show up in your inbox. So check it out. Go to www.lawmanguitars.com. Be sure to subscribe. And hey, we really appreciate you watching our demos. Thanks a lot.